I find this very, very amazing that um, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration on Thursday, this past Thursday, May 26th, the day before Memorial Day holiday weekend, approved a drug-emitting arm implant to treat addiction and heroin and other opioids, uh, opioids, providing a new tool against a condition that has proven extraordinarily difficult to manage. This is the first implantable drug to deliver a long-lasting medication to people addicted to opioids such as OxyContin and heroin. Now, the, the purpose of this video is mainly to talk about the implants. Um, you know, as most of you know that I, I am definitely vaccine choice and uh, what really scares me about this is that when this got approved it is the first implantable drug uh, medicine that uh, actually dis you know distributes itself into your body automatically it, it's an it's an implant it distributes the drug automatically you have no choice um, it, it does this automatically and it's an it, the scariest thing is it's an implant Okay, you have no control over it. I mean, once you decide to get this, um, it's very much like the RFID chip. So uh, I'm just very kind of hesitant. So who makes this product? Brayburn Pharmaceuticals. And who is the CEO and president of Brayburn Pharmaceuticals? That would be Ms. Bishad Sheldon. And who is Ms. Bishad Sheldon? Well... She is really, really in deep with the uh, pharmaceutical industry, and she's a big supporter of glu Glucophage, Plavix, Abilify, and Abilify is uh, a, a drug that's used in mental health situations, and uh, she is uh, also um, supporting five other central nervous system drugs, and products that uh, are very similar to Abilify, perhaps um, they all affect the natural, the, the central nervous system. So, back to this implant. Well, this implant is about the size of a of a, of a matchstick, and it's really really scary. It's called Probofine, and it emits probofenorphine. I know I killed that word, sorry. And that is a drug that eases cravings for opioids and prevents withdrawal symptoms. There are four implants inserted into the upper arm at a time, providing six months worth of drugs or administration. So every six months, you've got to get, you know, uh, four more implants. So that, again, they are, they are training you to get used to the implants. Public health officials say that this is a better treatment and it is desperately needed to fight the growing, the growing epidemic of opioid use. There are more than 47,000 Americans that died in drug overdoses in 2014, a record that exceeded the number killed in car accidents, according to the CDC. The biggest drivers of those deaths were opioid painkillers and heroin, and that's exactly what we're talking about. Because if the if the United States government wanted to put an end to the war on drugs, they easily could. They just shut it down. The thing is, is that the U.S. government and the pharmaceutical companies make way too much money to just shut down this drug problem. And it's not a drug problem. It is something that is really ongoing, and it's something that um, they don't want to stop. Because, like I said, they just make too much money. So, the most common side effect with this implant would be, obviously, pain, itching, redness at the implant site, as well as possible headaches, more depression, and other issues that the FDA had released in their findings. So, again, we've seen all these medicines on TV where it's like, oh... You know, you, 
if you, if you find you know upset stomach headache cramping diarrhea you know uh, heart attack loss of short breath it's like it's like why would you want to take this stuff anyway okay but the thing about it is that the doctors are required to undergo special training and how to insert and remove the implants there are about 20 20 uh, there are about 2,500 healthcare providers that have already signed up for this training. Now, again, what really scares me about this is that this is going to be very similar to an RFID chip. They're going to start out by using the chips in this manner, and then they're going to, you know, they could possibly say that when things go wrong or when these drug users and abusers and addicts are having other issues they can say well you know what maybe if we just you know give them an RFID chip along as well with this medicine chip that uh, you know we'll know where, where they're at all the time we'll be able to track them what they're doing and we'll be able to provide better health care because you have the RFID chip inside of you now some of you may be thinking that I'm reaching between this medicated chip or this medicated implant and the RFID chip, I strongly believe that I'm not reaching here. And the reason why I say that is because they all want us to be chipped. We are all slaves at this point in time.